Good morning, White Deer, Texas. Good morning, America. Good morning, Texas. Good morning, patriotic Americans. This is not a hate video. This is not. I don't do hate videos because I don't hate nobody. I don't care if you consider me your enemy. <laughs> I don't hate you because God told me to love you even though you're in your sin. Well, here's the thing. I seen a video where they're talking about disqualifying Trump no matter what. He can't be president because we said so. <laughs> See, you're not the people. And it's actually funny that you think you're going to decide who's going to be president. The Democratic people think that they're going to invoke a civil war like whatever. And they're going to take Trump out. See, you haven't taken on the fact that the people are deciding who they want in. Yes, you got your lunatics that are following, your brainless lunatics that are following the Democratic Party because they don't understand what's going on. And, yes, they will follow you straight down the path of destruction. You know, destroying everything that's good in this country. They will follow you no matter what you say. Congratulations, you got idiots on your side. But Trump has people that can think for themselves, that it can actually decide what they want. See, the American people are deciding the true American patriots, patriotic Americans, are deciding. <laughs> and God is still in control. See, your evil ways that you've been doing for so, far too long only can hold up for so long. And you know you're going to lose. See, that's the great thing about God. He wins in the end anyways. So, your fight against God and God's people is futile. Even the devil knows it's futile. See, that's where the Democratic Party has it wrong. See, they think that they're going to win. They think the World Economic Forum and all these other people that hide in the shadows, you know, and they supposedly run the world, they think that they're going to win. No. God's already won. It's already over and done with. To actuality, <laughs> the storm has passed us a by last night. It rained good last night, and, but the storm is yet to come. The storm is yet to come. If this evil is allowed to prevail, <laughs> yeah, God is still in control. And you know what's beautiful? Jesus, when he comes back, <laughs> he's going to take those that believe in him. And those that don't, well, have a good day. Well, eternity. Anyways, these people think that they already got the game plan laid out. Even the World Economics Forum and these uh, future these people that are doing this future summit the future world summit or whatever it is you know the Bloomberg Society and all these other groups that think that they can just take over they think that they run the world <laughs> sorry to tell you the people still have a thought a mind we haven't totally destroyed the mind yet so yeah, reason why we want Trump, because Trump is a ideology and a symbol of our freedom. He's like the bald eagle. It's a symbol of freedom. 
it's a symbol of our rights, our human rights. And yes, Trump is an awesome person. Trump is a person that can get stuff done that we want him to get done. And Vance, we're hoping you're Vance, we hope that you're one of the ones that's gonna help get that done. Um so we're putting faith in Vance too. We're putting faith in Trump. That Trump is a part of God's team. Vance, we're hoping that you're part of God's team. And I'm telling you, if you're not, the American people will voice their opinion. They will voice their opinion so loud you'll understand. Because the American people are tired. They're tired of all this stuff that is making life hard. People like me and my wife that are struggling to get back on our feet. The price of everything is just ridiculous right now. And you can't afford nothing. And getting back on your feet is harder than it used to be. It used to be okay, you stumble, you take about a year or two to get back, get back on your feet. No, it's taking a few more years than that right now. And I'm telling you what, with Joe Biden and or Harris, I should say, and this Walsh dude, we'll never get back on our feet. People like us will never be able to get back to work or get back to owning a car or the simple things of life that we should be able to have, afford to have. See, American people are tired of being taxed out of their homes, being their homes being stolen by the government because of civil asset forfeiture and a whole bunch of other legal mumbo jumbo. We're tired of being pushed around by law enforcement. We're being tired of being pushed around by government. We're tired of being told how to live our lives, how we should live our lives, how what we should be envious of and what we should, should not be envious of. See, this Hollywood idea of living in a big mansion, that's, that's beyond anybody's dream because the taxes and everything else are ridiculous. To get a car, to get a vehicle, the taxes, the insurance, the every Trump train, Trump train, two Trump trains. Anyways, the taxes and everything else on everything is ridiculous. To get a vehicle, get a house is so ridiculous. To even buy a piece of land, you can't even build on it unless you do what they want and their permission and their codes and their all their BS. So for us, people that are wanting to live just a peaceful life and have just a little tiny piece of land, we can't afford it. For those people that just want to build a tiny little house, put a tiny house on a piece of property, you can't because the government has deemed those tiny houses unsafe, supposedly. <laughs> it's not your re I, your responsibility to, for our safety. If we want to be stupid and build stupid houses, we're going to build them. If, see, government doesn't have responsibility for us. We have responsibility for ourselves. <laughs> the government's buttoning in too much and far too, way too much and they're putting their claws into us too much so yeah we American people are tired of the BS so y'all have a good day and please check out my other channel on here because you know TikTok likes to play games so same name but y'all have a good day and yeah it's getting ready to storm again so me and Jack are going home have a good day God bless